me. This is the quietest worst <laughs> G'day, welcome to Game Your Game Your Game. I'm Evan, and on the panel this week from Filthy Casuals Podcast, it's Adam Knox. <laughs> Hello, thank you for having me. And from the Do Go On Podcast, ah. Matt Stewart. I was wondering what awesome thing I did you were going to name. Could have been any one of two, or maybe just the one. And last but not from the podcast, meeting Kate Dennett. <laughs> what an awesome thing you've done. Not from podcast. Well done. Thank How you. have you managed it? Um, I've just said no to a lot of opportunities. <laughs> At E3, Atari teased that they'll be making a new console, the Atari Box. That's exciting. That's exciting. Those teasers. <laughs> that is teasing though, isn't it? Because it's like, just give it to us already. What are you going to... What is there, What's happened to the gaming world? Are they going to start telling us stuff before it actually happens? That's fucked. They do that, that is 95% oh, of the is it? marketing. Yeah. The last Atari console I played was this thing, which is... It's actually under... It, Kate's, Kate's legs. <laughs> Heaven, not on the show. This guy here, which oh, is shit. A, a broken old Atari 2600. I have one of those bastards. How great is that? <laughs> That's awesome. Me and this bastard. Me and this bastard here, we go way back. Oh, those guys. Oh. We did a do go on podcast about hey, man, how right. these guys fucked it. They were on top of the world and then it all came crashing down because the market got super flooded by shitty Atari games, including oh, yeah. ones by like McDonald's and stuff, because anyone was allowed to make them. But Pac Man wasn't one of those. But That's no why one... well no Pac Man on the Atari sucked. It was a real bad version of it. Yeah, them. they did really quick they really quickly put it out. Look, we got sp- yeah, but and it, uh, that was a the problem. They crunked them all out real quick and like there was no quality control, which is why it sank. And then when Nintendo came and did the super uh, the Nintendo NES, NES thing they had a rule apparently where every company was only allowed to make five games per year to keep the quality level up was the idea. Smart, but right. so then like Konami would just go, okay, well now I own a new company <laughs> called Konami 2. Right. And they're gonna make five more. <laughs> and Konami 3, nothing to do with us, they're making five more. So it didn't really work, but it was, it was all fine in the end. This, is, this game's by Parker Brothers. Huh? From board games. <laughs> <laughs> what game is it? It's Frogger. Oh, Frogger. That's a classic. Oh, that's a good game though. That's a pretty good game. 1978, this is from. It's got an asterisk on it, but what then is... it doesn't explain, it says Space Invaders asterisk. Oh right. And then doesn't explain what, oh no, trademark of Taito America Corporation. Well, that was dull. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's been some uh, some CG renderings, but but beyond this, we really don't know Fuck anything Fuck you get that mug much. from. <laughs> <laughs> well, well it from. I made a wish and the mug appeared. <laughs> what else is under here? No, I've made no wishes for any of you. There's nothing else. <laughs> I made some almond wishes. Yar's revenge. Yar. Oh man, Yars I thought Yar was beat. Yar's queen revenge. Yar's revenge. <laughs> Yar's. Yar's revenge. It's just a really. It's a big fly <laughs> with a gun. I think that one was meant to be good. I've heard of that before. I think Yar's revenge. God, games used to have silly fucking names. They've gotten a they lot more. They still do. They still do, but it's like you know, the, the Soldier Boy Two. But Splatoon. It, Splatoon. No, but that's like Splat and Platoon. You don't get it. But that, that, that thing of like games just having random noises of like Zaxxon and like Frango just bing, binging. They just picked like two syllables and went, fuck it. Nothing Frogger. like Splatoon. Frogger. What's that about? <clears throat> no, no, no. Let him keep one going. Who frogs. Let him keep going. A frogger is one who frogs. It is the, the verb. To frog. I frog, therefore I am a frogger. Yas revenge. <laughs> Don't make me keep going. <laughs> Sorry for bringing up the mug. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> um, so we don't know much about this uh, new Atari console. Seems like Atari don't really know exactly what this thing's gonna be either. Uh, so we'll just have to wait and see. I like that this says in an email to Atari fans, the company reveals what Atari fan is up to date with email. They're all getting <laughs> letters still. No, Atari's where you start and you merely continue the, <coughs> the, the journey and now it's back again and you've, it's, but here's who the thing. Who started with Atari? Uh, no one would have started with Atari who was under so they'd old, have right? to be 60-ish now. I started with Atari. Oh, really? Maybe. Okay, well, there you go. That was quite this, quickly but, debunked, but, that but, one. Um. But this is my grandparents' Atari. Like, is it really? Well, there yeah, you go. And yeah. your grandparents, yeah. are, how old are your grandparents? 
the, like old, right? Oh, yeah, <laughs> they're old. old people. They're old. Atari players, grandparents, one and the same. Yeah. So this has like a lot of sentimental value to you. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> We've got a Pac-Man over there. It says Mum's Pac-Man written on on it in biro. Really? Which means it was my nan's. Oh, that's nice. That'll be creepy in the future oh, when like when our grandkids and stuff go, I found my granddad's old game saves. Wow, he named his character Butt Butt Wink. <laughs> but this is my entire How do you future. Wink a butt. It's only got one eye. <laughs> is it blinking or is it winky? Is it both? It's like Schrodinger's wink. You can't, it's both at once. <coughs> you know what, you know what Kate Dennett's uh, nickname is on the but internet gaming world? Is this something you want to reveal? I don't know. I can't even log on with it, so I don't think it is an official thing. I've had trouble with the verification code. So Trump it's... forever, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's it's too much for this show. Four more years. <laughs> Uh, when it comes to portable gaming, everyone's talking about the Switch, but Nintendo is still releasing games for the 3DS. A couple of weeks ago, they dropped Kirby's Blowout Blast. <laughs> dropped like they're rappers. <laughs> <laughs> We're dropping the new Kirby, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm bad at writing scripts, okay? <laughs> this is like fun, I played beat. this before. It's a fun game. So it's, 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 a, it's a, a 3D platformer. Uh, it's actually a spin-off from a game called Kirby's Planet Robobot. Which is from um, last year. It's a, it was a mini game in that game, and now they've sort of fleshed that out to be a whole new 3DS game. It's still only a little thing. It's like it's just ten bucks on the Nintendo eStore. That's good value. E it is. Is it good value? It's There's a good so value many if it's a good versions game, right? of it. Right? Well, I played it for like five odd minutes, and I really <laughs> enjoyed it. The guy Kirby, he. Um, <laughs> if that is his if real name, I don't know. I didn't get to that point of the game, but he he'll go around, right? He's a ball, right? <laughs> essentially. He's a ball man. And he goes around, right, and then he sucks the life out of bad guys yeah. into him. The more of them, the better. And then he spits it out into, like, this sort of powerful energy and kills more bad guys. He's fucking the most badass guy I've ever come across. He'll kill you by sucking you, and he'll kill you by blowing you. He'll do it both ways. That is sick. <laughs> Kirby can do a lot of stuff. Yeah, I, well, I just made two. What else can he do? <laughs> he's, he's got a lot of powers. Mm. He's got little hands. He can probably fist you as well. <laughs> and look at his legs. Do you want to go? This is just in our notes. <laughs> he can take. He uh, if you if he sucks you, then he gets your power. So like, yeah. If if you're a pirate, he gets a sword. Yeah, right. So uh, what do you reckon? Here's a fun little question. If Kirby bloody ate you up, what would your power be? Huh? Ah, that's good. Ah, uh, beard. Beard. <laughs> I have the power of beard. Um, yeah, I think he would, he'd become slightly less good than he was before. <laughs> he'd be like, oh, that was a waste of a suck. I'm <laughs> tripping over more often. <laughs> yeah. I'm slightly more unco now. Oh. I'm paying Wait, more What about taxes. you, Adam? What would, they, what, would, what would Kirby inherit from you? Um, eczema. <laughs> <laughs> but you wouldn't be able to tell because he's already pink. That's what would he get if he sucked you, Kate? Regret. <laughs> <laughs> But in this, in this particular Kirby game, he doesn't actually inherit any powers from the people that he sucks up. No, well, stop saying sucks up. It makes it sound weird. <laughs> he sucks them and he, he takes all of them in. And uh, <laughs> doesn't get their powers. He just gets their, their sort of their life. He just gets filled up by yeah, it. Yeah, he gets filled by their, by their yeah. sort of life, yeah, yeah. Their life source. Or so their it comes out source, as no yeah. specific life. Oh, their source, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Christ. Okay. This is a game you'd say it's um, pretty easy to get through from the start. Yeah, I didn't die for ages, which made me think that I said it to Kate, I'm like, games. I'm no good at games. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a real filthy casual. Hey, that's a good idea for a bad podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but Kate, I was playing and I was saying that. Was it Kate who said to me? Yes, my um, name is Kate. Like, she's Kate, Kate is it? To me. Yeah, <laughs> Kate. Kate, is it? I, so I know you was Trump forever, so... Um, <laughs> but Kate said to me that maybe this game isn't for adults. Okay. Is that right? Was you, I, playing, you, you a, was I really? playing a baby's game? I think as, as far as... I was playing I mean, it for five minutes and I didn't die. It, it gets a lot harder pretty quickly. And it's hard to... Does it really? Get, like the Mori sucks or what? <laughs> is it that there's less people around to suck up? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you're the Mori of... sucks, the harder, the harder it gets. Yeah. yeah. Wow, it's a good way if you if you. 
It sounds like we're talking about cum. I was about to say, it almost feels like there's a euphemism or something going on. Whoops. <laughs> Some past names of Kirby games. Let's figure it. Kirby Block Ball. Yep. Oh man, that's the worst. Kirby Tilt and Tumble, which is another bedroom. Oh, I've done that. Yeah. yeah. Um, Kirby Air Ride. Uh, also done that. Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Yep. Kirby's Cleveland Steamer. There. Kirby Squeak Squad. Kirby and his rusty trombone. <laughs> that's the uh, that's the one I know. That's that's the joke sex move that everyone says that I know. <laughs> Kirby's blowout blast. Oh, that's this one. <laughs> <laughs> What do you guys think about little games like this? It's like, it's, it's a little $10 game. It's something you can knock over in a few hours. I like the idea of something you can just, especially on 3DS, you can just, if you want to train or something, you can just pick it up, play a few minutes, and then... The older I get, the more attractive that sort of thing is, just because you start running out of time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like something like... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, that's just a, that's the noise of a man who knows exactly what I'm talking yeah, about. I like, <clears throat> like, there is, some, I tried to play through Persona 5 and at some point, like, that's a fucking long ass game. Right. And it, there's just something, uh, the feeling of just being able to knock something out in like two hours, it's good. Knock it out real quick. Yeah. <laughs> knock one out. Time yeah. for a quickie. As I always say before I play Kirby's Dream Balloons or whatever. <laughs> Kirby's Blowout Blast is 10 bucks on the Nintendo eShop, so if you're looking for something uh, fun and cheap for 3DS, it's worth taking a look. Let's stop making fucking lame sex jokes and talk about this Splatfest, all right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this weekend, Splatoon 2 hit the Switch. It's an action shooter. <laughs> It's an action shooter in which you. <laughs> what do you do? You, you shoot ink at your opponents, <clears throat> and you can turn into a squid and sort of slobber. Ever since I got Splat. braces, is when I laughed too hard, my jaw shattered. <laughs> No, if you just get like some clean, <laughs> get clean audio of it, we can edit. <laughs> so Splatoon 2, it's, it's, it's a sequel to Splatoon. You, you floated a bit, Adam. Do you think it's a lot better than the first one? Uh, it's the same. It's like, it, but a lot of people missed out on the first one because it was on uh, the Wii U, which fewer people had than one of these things. So the Atari 2600. Yeah. It feels like to me the best feature of it is that it's on the Switch and it's portable now. Yeah. That seems like the most fun thing about it uh, compared to the first one. I've looked at footage of the old one. It, look, it looks way cooler to me. This it's one? like more vivid or something, right? The colours are better in yeah. this one, I think. They've, they've, because I think the first one was just like orange and blue, maybe. Yeah. Right. And then I don't know, a little bit of pink. Get some pink in yeah. life. Get some pink. Get some pink. Yeah. I'm coming up. That's by Pink. I guess. And Matt, you, 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 you did some reading on the 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 bridge between Splatoon One and Splatoon Two. Yeah, they. So leading up to the release of Splatoon 2, they started by releasing the Squid Sisters stories, which was about um, Callie and Marie. Is that right? Say say them say one after the other. Callie Marie. Marie Calamari. Callie. Calamari. Ah? Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. He was in front of me all along. <laughs> like this is this is this motherfucker's hair. This squid appendage stuff, yeah, mm. right, and mm. it looks like a proper squid tentacles. But they get their hair cut, so that must mean that they're cut, slicing through the flesh of this squid just to look cool. Yeah, you she's know? got suction caps on her hair, right? But she she cut that shit off. Yeah. A fashion dictated so. How did you know? They might just wear hats. Maybe their hair doesn't grow. They say this hats. Is machine land. You think that's a hat? Well, you think they've got a hair? Well, they've got a bank as well. They, they literally do have a hair yeah. yeah. banks and shit. Yeah. Shit. Okay. You go through the shops. You can go to the shops. 
There's a guy, what's the, the crustacean guy? Crusty Sean. Crusty Sean, Sean. what a guy. <laughs> he's moved businesses. He, he he quit his old job in Splatoon. Yeah. And now he's started his own business. I think he used to sell too. shoes and now he sells food. Food, But yeah. it's like seafood, which is kind of creepy. Yeah, it is. I like it. Because he's like a fried, a fried shrimp, a right, fried prawn. But if you think which... about it, sea creatures do eat seafood. Oh, shit, they do too. Yeah. yeah. Hey. If you so think he's... about it like that. <laughs> yeah. You I'm don't have to. Now. It's up to you. It's so fun, like it's, just being able to like swim in the floor. It's sick. yeah, it's a good love it. it or feels, up the walls like it and feels stuff. really great. Like yeah. It, it, yeah. it is a lot of fun to play. You know, but I it, it sort of defaults to the motion controls, which I really the, struggled. What are they called? Gyros? Yeah, the, well, they use the gyros in the controllers. And I'll, this I'll is like the it a lot. this is the split, new Splatoon um, Pro controller, which also you can use as as a motion controller as well. And but the way it works is that you you tilt with the motion control. But you use your stick for left and right, looking around, and that really messes with my head. Yeah, that was messing with my head. Because but I it... like the up and down thing. That was fun. <laughs> I feel like it should even be like. <laughs> yeah, like that. Oh, oh. <laughs> you should have seen when I just got into it. <laughs> <laughs> it was really fun. Really fun. I liked it. Once I got used to the controls, I thought it was actually pretty. Like, okay, bam! I'm on this. I can get these. Yeah, you're one way. I can thing. splat these. You're basically a squid. They work yeah. way better nowadays than they used to. The motion, motion controls. controls in general. Yeah, right. But I don't like using them either because. Yeah, I switched over to the I'd use the stickies. old bloody this guy if I could. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can you get place for Hey man, Probably I can not. splat a bug with it. It's move, pretty big. Splat, move, splat. Do you play? You like playing it online against? Yeah, strangers but, or? but against uh, you know strangers. <laughs> strangers <laughs> is that game? Sorry to use gaming lingo like that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just meet up with some strangers and have a bit of a splat fest. It's great. It's all anonymous. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. We've all just got hey, man. screen names. Like everyone's just you know why you're there. Laugh and butts. Yeah, no one tells their real name. You just show up and you go like, hey, you know why I'm here. And then they go, I've already started. <laughs> Which is clear if you look at them. Yeah. yeah like they're... there are like a few classes in high school where they told you not to do this kind of stuff. So is it hard going against? Man, I wagged school. Wow. I was out dogging. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, so there's a new game mode called Salmon Run. I mean, did you get a chance to play that? I didn't try Salmon Run, no. But that's like a horde mode thing, right? That's like a... <clears throat> only certain times. That's weird that it's only certain times. I don't really like that. It's very old-fashioned, like, TV sort of, like, yeah, you got to be here at 7 o'clock. But I, I heard that play. might be because it's not quite as good as some of the other parts of the game. So it's like, gives it a weird exclusivity that keeps people excited about sure. it or something, maybe? I guess so, but like the idea of making a low quality product and then limiting the numbers to artificially <laughs> increase the value, that's pretty ridiculous and I don't think Nintendo would do that. What are you talking about, Adam? <laughs> Calming again, oh. dogging. <laughs> something I think is really bullshit is that you can't play multiplayer, like Salmon Run, whatever, unless offline that is. Wait. Am I confusing myself? Yes, I've confused myself. <laughs> ah, this old familiar feeling. <laughs> but you can't play it offline with someone else? Or am I? <laughs> um, yeah, you can't play it offline with someone else unless they've got a Switch. Yeah. And you can't even, you even can't if you've got a giant screen. TV, you can't split screen. You can't do any of that. I, I'm calling shenanigans on that one. You well, should be able to play split screen. Do you think there's like a weird conspiracy? The conspiracy is to get us all to buy switches, yes. Oh, that's a pretty yeah. clear one, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of it was similar with the Wii U, except you, you could play two-player, but one of you would use the gamepad, one of you would use the TV. But it was like a fucked weird different thing, wasn't it? It was like some other s s separate mode to the normal multiplayer. Yeah, like maybe. you're both shooting balloons, I think, like target practice right. weird something. It feels Nintendo. particularly frustrating because the Switch, it feels like one of the big selling points of the Switch was that it's mm. a social device. Yeah. You can all them chefs. You got all these different Joy-Cons, yeah. all these different kinds of controllers and stuff like that. You can take it with you, you can set it up, do mm. all the cool things they do in the ads for the Switch, all their friends. We can't do that with Splatoon 2. The idea, like, you have to hey, have two or three more I've shown up switches. to this cool rooftop party. I brought my Switch, guys. Do we have seven <laughs> others? <laughs> hey, let's get off the roof. It's dangerous up here. Well, that's it for this week. Make sure you subscribe for new episodes and you can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, for extra bonus, for extra bonus bits, and bits and pieces, pieces just, just search Gamey Gamey Show. See you. Bye. <laughs> Clearly says bye. I thought I might have said see ya. And I'm, 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 gonna... not, I'm not wearing my glasses.
<laughs> I've never said. Sia. I guessed all those words. I only got one wrong. So <laughs> you guessed all. Those? I guessed them all. Got one Get wrong. Get this out of my sight. Shit. Great. No Great. worries. I'll come on your show anytime. Don't come on the show. <laughs> <laughs>